Hello everyone, this is Manjushri. I teach physics concepts. In this video, I'll be discussing about one of the concepts from class 8. First, let me show you what are the chapters which are there for class 8 science syllabus according to NCRT. So these are the chapters which are there in class 8 science syllabus. In this, I make videos on physics concepts. That is, you can find videos of me explaining force and pressure, friction, sound, chemical effects of electric current, some natural phenomenon, light, stars and the solar system. Not only this, I make videos on physics concepts from class 9th, 10th, 11th and also 12th. And also you can find videos of all the subjects that do in all the languages for free in our Kukul channel. So first let me begin with the concept for this video. That is, uh, I told I'll be teaching physics concepts, right? So physics means what? Physics means it is the study of nature, everything around us and its rules. So before revealing the concept for today, First, let me tell you uh, the thing what happened before uh, preparing for this video. What happened is I was sitting in a playground and absorbing whatever happening around me. I was able to observe a tree where few of its leaves are falling down. I was able to observe people who were taking a rest. Some of them were playing football, throw ball and uh, also people were walking around nearby to me. And what I was able to, what physics I was able to observe there is whenever an object is in motion, some external force is needed for that object to change its motion. That is, if it is in rest position, there should be some push or pull or some of the action which should take place to move it further. Or if whenever there is some object which is moving to stop it even there some force is needed and also i told i absorbed a tree where some of its leaves were falling down why it is falling down why not it's moving upwards it is due to gravitational force gravitational force might be you have heard about this word but in this video i'll be explaining in detail about what is force what are the types of force and also at last, I'll be explaining about pressure. So first, let me tell you what are the topics which you'll be studying in force and pressure chapter. Yes, this in this video, I'll be starting with the first chapter of class 8 physics syllabus that is force and pressure. So what are the topics you'll be studying in force and pressure chapter is whenever uh, first I have written introduction. Introduction. Why introduction is first? Because whenever we study any of the topic, introduction is very much needed. That is, if I want to study about the concept of pressure, then the, we must have the knowledge of force. And also to study the concept of force, we should have some supporting concepts which explain us force concept easily. So to understand force, first we should know what is motion, when the object will be in motion, to understand motion, first we should know what is position, what is rest position, what when the object is moving, that concept. All that concepts will study in introduction. Then we'll study about force. What is force? What are the effects of force? Next, I'll be discussing about balanced and unbalanced force. Next, you'll be studying about types of forces, where in your class 8 syllabus, you have contact force and non-contact force. So the types of force is common. That is contact force and non-contact force are the two types. But uh, in your class 8 syllabus, you'll be studying about muscular force and frictional force. And in non-contact force, you'll be studying about gravitational force, electrostatic force, magnetic force. And after studying all these things about force, you'll be studying about pressure. Now, let me begin with an introduction to force. Okay, I have a toy car with me. So, first what I'll do is, I'll make this toy car to rest in some position. Okay, uh, now this is in a position that is, uh, it's on my hand. 
it's in some position it has acquired some space on my hand that that is its position so um after few minutes i'll absorb this car again it is in same position it is not changing its position now what i'll do is i'll push this when i pushed it i gave little bit of small amount of force i applied i'm using the word force what is it that will study in our chapter i just pushed little bit when i pushed it what happened it started changing its position isn't it so it started changing its position means it is moving it is having motion what is motion when the object is changing its position with respect to time that is called motion that is motion means the change in position of an object with respect to time and also in the slide you can observe i have displayed a picture of bus where it is in a position in one position and its position is not changing with respect to time its position the object's position is not changing with respect to time means it's in rest position and also you can observe in the second uh, picture there are group of people who are playing throw ball and in that the ball is moving around that means the ball is changing its position with respect to time the ball is changing its position with respect to time means it is in motion so what causes this motion that is example i told uh, the car was in a position uh, and uh, the position of this car was not changing with respect to time initially so i told at that time it was in rest position next i pushed it then it started moving and also there are uh, two examples where you can observe uh, a bus which is in same position with respect to time which is not changing its position with respect to time and that is in rest position and also there is a ball which is changing its position with respect to time why the ball is changing someone is applying that is someone is pushing it someone is pulling it so uh, there is change in its position what is causing the change in the position of an object is some external force what is force force means so if i push this then that is force if i lift this that is also force if i drop this that is force so force means any action which we are doing on an object whether it is a push it is a pull it is an object if we are lifting it if we are dropping it any of the action which we are doing that is called force so here i have written what causes motion and also examples of motion so what causes motion obviously some force some external force needed to move an object or to stop an object which is moving and examples of motion uh, whenever we observe object which is changing its position then that object is in motion so i have written basic terminologies related to force in which i have uh, defined motion then speed velocity and acceleration motion means just now i explained you it is changing Uh, that is change in position of any of the object with respect to time then object is said to be in motion motion is the phenomenon in which an object changes its position relation what is speed i didn't explain no okay so what is speed is i told whenever we push or pull an object will change its position when the object is changing its position it will travel some distance so if i push this car it is moving it is changing its position that means it is in motion so when it is moving when it is changing its position it will travel some distance so here it's traveling on my hand so it is traveling means it is moving uh, that is it is traveling some distance that distance traveled by time taken in uh, how much time it will tra travel that is said to be speed speed means the rate at which someone or something moves that is the distance traveled by time taken and velocity means what 
velocity means if we consider this distance traveled by time taken and if we consider this distance traveled along with the direction then we can find out velocity velocity means it is the rate and direction of an object's movement for example if this car is moving in 50 kilometers per hour then that will 50 kilometers per hour will give us the speed 50 kilometers per hour along with the direction for example if it is moving in west then uh, 50 kilometers per hour which moves in the direction of uh, west direction then that will give us the velocity and acceleration means what acceleration means it is rate of change of velocity that is velocity which is changing with respect to time that will give us the acceleration of any of the object so these are the basic terminologies related to the concept of force so if you understand this concepts that is motion speed velocity acceleration then it will be easy for you to understand the effects of force so force I'll explain then I'll explain about effects of force so when I was explaining about motion I told when I push an object it is changing its position so whenever we push or whenever we pull if we lift this or if we drop this so when whatever action we are doing there we can observe force which is exerted on that object so force means you you can observe different things in this slide where a father is pushing a cycle and uh, someone is pulling the door and a boy is playing with car toy car and a uh, group of people are pl playing football so in every action we can observe force some type of force some type of force why i'm telling this word is because force can be of many types that you'll study later so first force means what it is a push or a pull but what i explain is uh, don't think only force is push or a pull force can be any action which you do it can be push it can be pull or any action if you lift an object if you drop an object if you are doing any of the activities there the force will be acting on the object and force is a push or a pull that can change state of motion of an object or change in shape of an object so whenever we, you observe push or a pull or any of the actions that is if the force is exerted on any of the object there will be or there can be change in state of motion what is this change in state of motion i think uh, next word uh, or that is in your statement they have given force is a push or a pull that can change the state of motion of an object or change in the shape of an object change in the shape of an object that is okay if we apply some force the object shape may change sometimes or it might not change but what is this change of state of motion what does it mean it means that if we observe if we apply some force on any of the object state of motion can change that means if the object is in rest position if we apply some force for example if we are pushing then it will start moving that means it is changing its motion uh, state of motion from rest position to moving it is moving and also if the object is moving then if i apply some force on it then the moving object can come to rest position that is that is what they have given can change the state of motion can change sometimes the force might not change state of motion okay so and also i have explained about push and pull what is push push means it is force applied on an object to make make an object to move away from you and pull means you are applying some force you are doing some action where the force is bringing an object towards you push means object is moving away from you when you apply the force Pull means object is coming towards you when you apply the force. So force is any action which is 
done on an object which can change the state of motion or shape of an object so uh, ch can change state of a motion that is little bit, little bit complicated i guess so i'll explain some more concepts which will make you clear on change in state of motion so i have given make uh, that is these points which are there make stationary object move can change shape of an object stop moving object all these points are shown to you to make you understand what are the effects of force so force can change can make stationary object to move or it can the, stop the moving object and it can also change the shape of an object that is for example if this is a glass if this is made up of a glass and if i drop it then the shape of it may change and if it is moving by applying force i can stop it if it is in rest position i can make it move and also force can change the uh, that is velocity or acceleration of an object that is uh, if it is moving with certain speed by applying force i can accelerate it further and also uh, the direction of the object moving object can change if it is moving in one uh, di certain direction by applying force i can also change its direction in this video we have studied about what is force and to understand force i have explained about motion speed velocity and acceleration force means it is push or pull or any action that can change state of motion or shape of an object so these are the basic things about force in my next video i'll be explaining about effects of force thank you